Hi guys, Jar6. Welcome back to this channel. Definitely appreciate you guys watching. So there have been a lot of conversation about backup guns. Do I carry one? And the reality is that I don't. And uh, and that's have to do with my own setup, with my own system, what I like, what I enjoy. It doesn't mean you run if you carry one. Doesn't mean it's a bad idea. Doesn't mean anything. It's just that I don't do it. But I understand that it brings a lot of capabilities. First of all, it, it gives you the ability to have an extra gun so you can arm someone else. Now, in the past, I talked about that, making sure you arm the right person and not arm the wrong person. But, again, it gives you that ability. It also gives you the ability that if you run out of rounds, you could grab your second gun and engage a target or engage a thread. Uh, probably a little bit faster than reloading. But again, that goes back to training, what kind of training you do and stuff like that. But here's to answer that question. Here's the MMP shield. This is an excellent choice for concealed carry. Primarily, you know, uh, the main concealed carry gun. I really enjoy it. I haven't put it here in the camera in a while, but again, I really like this gun. And this is an awesome gun. Here's my uh, something that could be potentially a good backup gun, which I carry this as my main gun. Uh, now, now is having I'm having issues with this Glock 42. Some of you guys know. Some of you guys been asking me about that, and uh, and I haven't been able to do. You know, I haven't been able to contact Glock and all that because life, family, work, uh, church, and all that good stuff. But again, I have multiple guns, so I don't have that. I don't have that. Uh, you know, I could just easily go to my Glock 43 or something like that to carry a different gun. But again, I wanted to show you this gun because this could be potentially a good backup gun that anybody could carry. So again, is it a good idea to carry a backup gun? Sure. If is it a bad idea? Are you doing anything wrong if you're not carrying a backup gun? I don't think so. I think it goes back to training. What do you do for training? What kind of system do you want to carry? What do you want to do as your everyday carry? And if you want to carry primarily a, a, a you know a concealed carry gun and then go to your backup, or if you don't want to carry a backup and just carry this with a spare magazine, you're still doing a good thing. The key is going to be training. What are you going to train with? And what are you going to carry 100% of the time? I prefer to carry this 100% of the time than carrying a Glock 17 70% of the time. So again, guys, don't get so wrapped up in the whole concept of I need to carry a main gun and a backup gun. Try to train, try to have a system that you're going to carry 100% of the time and you know how to use. Uh, again, you need to know how to use your system that you're going to utilize. So let me know what you think down in the comments as always. If you like this type of videos, click like, subscribe to the channel, share the videos, and God is in control.